Police in Hamburg are facing scrutiny after details emerged that authorities had been tipped off about the gunman in Thursday's deadly shooting. The Entente Cordiale Reborn. The British Prime Minister and French President meet in Paris as relations warm after years of Brexit-related tensions. Police in Germany are facing mounting scrutiny after details emerged that authorities had been tipped off about the gunman who went on to kill at least seven people, including an unborn baby and then himself, in a Jehovah's Witness hall in Hamburg on Thursday, amid fears the death toll will rise again. Germany's chancellor told reporters of the shock the country is feeling. We are fassungslos angesichts dieser Gewalt. Meine Gedanken sind in den schweren Stunden bei den Opfern und ihren Angehörigen. Wir trauern um diejenigen, die so brutal aus dem Leben gerissen wurden. Officials revealed they received an anonymous letter about the perpetrator, identified by police as Philip F. in January. Die anonyme Person brachte in dem Schreiben die Auffassung zum Ausdruck, dass der Philip F. an einer psychischen Erkrankung leiden könnte, ohne, wie die Person schreibt, dass dieses ärztlich diagnostiziert sei. Police say Philip F. was a 35-year-old former member of the Christian group. Investigators are still seeking a motive, but officials say it was not political. France and the UK are once again speaking the same language, in diplomatic terms at least. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak arrived in Paris on Friday to meet French President Emmanuel Macron for the first Franco-British summit since 2018. Relations between the two nations had soured due to tensions over Brexit, but are now on the mend. Je veux ici saluer le nouveau virage qui a été pris aussi et votre volonté de réengager avec l'Union européenne et vous féliciter pour le cadre de Windsor qui a été conclu avec la présidente von der Leyen. Alors, ce nouveau départ, nous voulons le poursuivre et le mettre à profit pour notre soutien à l'Ukraine. Nous partageons la même analyse et la même volonté. La Russie ne peut ni ne doit gagner cette guerre. The leaders agreed on a host of issues, such as fighting illegal immigration, enhancing joint defense and aiding Ukraine. When the security of our continent is threatened, we will always be at the forefront of its defense. And today we're going even further to strengthen our security and defense cooperation. We've agreed to train Ukrainian Marines, helping to give Ukraine a decisive advantage on the battlefield and for Ukraine to win this war. Britain has also agreed to more than double its funding to France to help to stop people smuggling gangs operating in the English Channel. However, the French president noted that a full agreement on the issue can only be negotiated with the EU. For many Ukrainians, Sana Marin is almost one of the family. The Finnish prime minister is known for a constant support of Kyiv and criticism of Russia. This Friday, she visited the Ukrainian capital to attend the funeral of a soldier considered a national hero and to send a message to the Russian president. Putin knows he will have to answer for his crime of aggression. Together with you and our other partners, Finland supports Ukraine efforts to end the impunity of Russian's leaders. The future tribunal must bring justice efficiently and answer Ukrainians' rightful demands. Marin offered her condolences to the family of a Ukrainian soldier known as Da Vinci, a charismatic volunteer who enlisted in 2014 to defend the country after the war in Donbass began. Marin also visited a large memorial to others who have died in the war, including many civilian personnel. The Georgian parliament has voted to kill off a controversial law that had provoked violent protest at home and condemnation abroad. The bill would have required some media and NGOs to register as foreign agents, depending on the level of funding they had from outside the country. Opponents who made their anger felt outside parliament said the measure would be similar to one in Russia used to silence the government's critics. The EU warned the legislation would undermine Georgia's hopes of joining the alliance.